Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the frame mockup in Photoshop. First, you want to open up the Layers panel. If you don't see the Layers panel, it's under Window, Layers. To insert your design, you, uh, you want to find this layer that says Design hyphen, and you want to double click on the thumbnail icon. That's going to open up a smart object where you can copy and paste your design. So then we'll go to File, Open to open up the design. And then we'll go to Select All, then Edit, Copy. And we'll just click back on the tab with the Smart Object and go to Edit, Paste. If you want to zoom out, um, you can press Command minus on a Mac or Control minus on a PC. And if you want to resize the design a little bit, you can go to Edit, Free Transform. In newer versions of Photoshop, you just want to click on the corner and drag it in to size it down or out to make it bigger. In older versions of Photoshop, you needed to hold down the Shift key to keep it proportional. So if you see it getting distorted, just go to Edit, Undo, Free Transform, and then do the opposite of whatever you were doing, whether that's holding down the Shift key or not holding it down. And then when you're satisfied with that, go to File, Save to save the Smart Object. And then you can click the little X to close the Smart Object tab. And you can close the graphics too. And you'll see it helpfully added the art right inside the frame for us, just like that. Isn't that awesome? And next you want to make the backgrounds visible. So just click this little box next to the layer group that says Backgrounds. And then you can click this little arrow here to expand the layer group and you'll see six background layers in there. To uh, toggle through them you can just click on the eye icons to make the one you want visible. And then when you find the one you want and you're good with that you just need to save it and you're done. So go to File, Save As. And then for use on a website, like in a thumbnail, like on sites like Etsy and other sites, save a JPEG version. You can also save a Photoshop version, you know, possibly renaming it so you can have a Photoshop file with layers for each one of your designs. Please let me know if you have any questions by messaging me at melissabmockups.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you get updates to future videos. This mock-up and other mock-ups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you and have a great evening.